I believe that uh, with passion, you know, you can do a lot of things, you know. I could feel that uh, I had a special uh, attraction for, uh, for motorcycles. I was really, really, you know, interested in, uh, in how to make the bike go, go quicker. My parents didn't want, didn't allow me to go racing, you know, so I, I just uh, went in my garage uh, every, every day after school and uh, spent a lot of hours in the garage and then I was uh, modifying all the motorcycles of my, my friends. I had the chance to meet uh, some uh, motorcycle rider who was uh, riding in a Honda 125 NS Cup and then uh, invited me uh, on, a, on a race meeting. That Honda Cup race was uh, together with the World Championship. I saw all the big trucks, all the caravan, you know, all the riders, you know. I remember uh, Loris Reggiani, Luca Cadalora, Wayne Rainey, John Kocinski, Kenny Robbins that at that moment was a manager. And then uh, listening, you know, at the mechanics uh, warming up the, the, the two stroke was like, you know, ghost bumps everywhere because that kind of engine was much, much more powerful of what the engine, compared to the engine that they was used to, to modify, you know. And then I said, I really want to stay here, I really want to be here in this paddock for the rest of my life. My father had a tremendous passion for, uh, for motorcycling. I start the very first time, you know, to ride a Vespa because uh, he put me in front of him and then I could uh, handle the, the, the handlebar of the Vespa, you know, and then uh, suddenly sometimes he gave me the, um, the grips, you know, and then I could accelerate, you know, and I could feel the power, I could feel the speed to feel uh, air pressure from, from, from the wind, you know, a, a, a much higher speed without pedaling was, uh, wow, was a fantastic feeling. It's really nice, uh, you know, to, to look back and uh, to try to leave the emotions, you know. Definitely my passion is still burning. I'm uh, buying all the, the mop mopeds and, and Vespa and the motorcycles that uh, I, I've been using when I was a kid. My dream is to find the time to restore it uh, as soon as possible. I really enjoy to use the bike uh, even on a daily basis when I have uh, time. To go on track is a, is a little bit different uh, pressure because everybody are look at me and say, ah, Lucio Cecchinello, you know, and then they took the, the crown on the hand, and, you know, and then I'm a little bit under pressure, you know, but it's fun. The story of my, my racing career was, uh, was quite uh, different from the other riders. I start late because my parents absolutely didn't want to let me go racing. And then I had a, a Honda NS 125. We were with my girlfriend in the industrial area. She had the chrono and then in the industrial area of Bologna, we make the, you know, the, the circuit. And then uh, I was, uh, you know, trying always to, to beat my, my time. I said, I really want to go racing. I didn't have the money. But I had the bike that eventually modified this bike, I could go racing. Then I didn't know how to, to get this money. I had an idea, I said, okay, my girlfriend is very much interested in buying 
my motorcycle, I'm a motorcycle. I sold the motorcycle to my girlfriend, but then I asked my girlfriend, I said, because it's my girlfriend, said, can you borrow me back the bike, just to borrow, we modify and then we go racing. <laughs> and, then, and then that's how I started. For the very first time, you know, I, I did a quite good lap time and so on. I met another person which called Paolo Rizzati, who was uh, running the, the moto club around Bologna. And then he said, who you are? And then I said, I'm Lucio Cecchinello. I, we, I'm president of a moto club, blah, blah, blah. I, I can help you. This is another person who was very important in my life, Paolo Rizzati. But to go back at your question, the most inspirational one, uh, yeah, definitely my father. He explained me how to use the tools, he explained me how to, you know, to fix things, and uh, he explained me a lot. I asked it, my father, uh, okay, for, to, to, to have a, a new moped, you know, and then my father said, no. We were there in a wreckage. We were looking, then there was a, a moped, and he said, okay, we buy this one, and it was completely destroyed. When I started to, you know, to disassemble, and to, to, to paint, to rebuild the engine by myself, when it was finished, it was like a, an amazing feeling for me. I like to, to give back life to think, uh, many things, and that's why we have also many old bikes here. I bought my first uh, bike, which was the Honda NS125, when I was 16. It was a, a street bike, uh, but already with a racing shape, you know, and a powerful engine. Unfortunately, I don't have, I'm looking for, for it, I'm looking. In my mind, in the mind of, uh, of uh, many, many people, especially of my era, Honda was like, uh, you know, the top of the technology. Everybody who owned uh, a Ho an Honda uh, was, uh, was, was a cool person, you know. Honda uh, was, uh, and I believe still is, the, the, the lead in terms of, uh, of technology. He was always passionate uh, on the brand and they had a lot of respect for what the Soishiro Honda have done. And it's very pity that uh, Time goes by and Sushi Ronda is not there anymore because uh, I would have loved to, to meet him. It's um, really motivating for me to continue to be a reliable person for Honda. Most of my racing career I have done with Honda and uh, to give uh, an opportunity to a rider who deserves to be helped, for me it's very, very motivating. Like Casey, you bring a young kid, uh, 14 years old, you bring him in the World Championship, finish second in the, in the Championship and then you go in the MotoGP class with him and then you eventually do the first pole position and the first podium, it's really, a, a, a nice feeling, you know, because uh, without uh, LCR, he wouldn't have done uh, probably the same uh, path of, of this career. It's much more uh, strong feeling when uh, you win uh, a race as a rider. It's also nice to be, of course, on the podium and below the podium, and maybe sometimes even uh, go taking, you know, the trophy of the of the of the team winner. It's also also special feeling when uh, we won our first race in uh, MotoGP class. The, the feeling uh, was kind of fantastic, you know, to be able with my own organization to. Win a Moto, MotoGP race is, uh, is a fantastic feeling and 
I still remember the TV commentator. Carl Crutchlow rewritten the history books. Carl Crutchlow win after 35 years. Barry Sheen uh, was the last British winner. Oh, I was, uh, wow, <laughs> it was really, really special. The Barry Sheen, Elsier, brought in the podium Carl Crutchlow. It's, it's really special. It's all my passion, you know, all my passion is the, from the technology, from uh, the speed, running fast against the clock, the way how you can celebrate uh, victories and podiums. It's a mix of emotion that uh, are part of my life. I, I cannot imagine to, to be without it. I tell you a secret during the period of LCR, I got three times some offer to sell the team, you know. I never, never considered it because uh, it's not about money, it's about the fact that uh, I really like my life. Being there and you know, trying to do all I, what I can to support my riders, you know, I need all this emotion. You know, those emotions are part of my life, and I cannot imagine to stay without it. <laughs>